and cut. Cut. Well, I haven't done this in 25 years. But welcome back to the Empress Kina Show, everybody. I have a special guest. Do you want to you want to introduce yourself? I am Jeremy Evans, aka Kina's best friend, aka her friend of 20 plus years, 25 years, something like that. 25? Um, only 26. They go back that far. Yeah. Um, aka our partner in crime. Am I missing something? No, I think you got it all. Aka other half, aka all that. So we're gonna do a bestie tag today. So we're gonna ask each other questions. So we're gonna see who knows who better. Do you think you know me better or do you think I know you better? I think I probably know you better cause you, mm. you be tripping sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna edit that part. Bake, there's a pie. A little bit. I think you might know me better, but I wouldn't be surprised if I know you better. I'm in tune. I know you better than you know yourself. That's what she say. I don't know, she do got that third eye. Better be careful. Sure. Tell everybody. You want to rock, paper, scissors? Who goes first or you want to go first? Rock, paper, scissors. You always have to have a battle. <laughs> <laughs> Is it rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Rock, paper, scissors, flat. <laughs> That's intense. Watch out. You go. You say go. Rock, paper, shoot. Come on, man. It's cool. I want you to win anyway. Let's do it. She made the questions, by the way. But that don't really matter. I just want y'all to know that. I got some off the internet. I don't even That's remember okay. what I wrote. It's okay. I'm just throwing it out there. Listen, this is a fair fight. Which meal do I prefer? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I know the food that you prefer, but now I just gotta categorize it. That's an awful lot of writing. <laughs> Shit, it's lunch. Only I put lunch or dinner. See, okay. I wouldn't have accepted either We're answer. We're good. Kinda don't eat breakfast. Years ago, she <laughs> told me, they used to eat brownies for breakfast. What? Brownies. One day I was like, Kina, what did you eat? You was like, I mean, I had a piece of a brownie. <laughs> like, uh, okay. That's this. I don't really like breakfast at all. That's not that's not a meal that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. With one point for Jeremy. Jeremy has one point. They root for me out there. You should have told them a little more about yourself. You know, you told them who you were to me, but who is Jeremy? I am a model. Um, oh, yeah. watch out. Y'all better check Put it out on, on for, Finish Line. Yeah, check me out on Finish Line. Put it on for all the amputees out there. I'm a real estate investor. I own a trucking company. Yeah, and I'm just me, man. I I, I just love being myself, putting myself out there. So yeah, it's just a little bit about me. He's modest guy. Try to be. What's my favorite season? Your favorite season. That's tough. She don't know that one. Mm. You know, sometimes you gotta overwrite or underwrite because Mogs be counting the times you draw your marker. <laughs> <laughs> so he thinks I'm cheating, but I'm really not. I trust Keenan. <laughs> Did she, you you heard what he said? Friends of 28 years. And he doesn't trust me. I trust Kena, but I don't trust Kena. You can tell by you see that smirk. <laughs> Look at the smirk. <laughs> she got that permanent smirk on her face. I'm just being in my brain thinking things. Uh, wow. Summer. It's summer. It. I would have taken you as a fall guy. Like it's cool to wear the layers and stuff in the fall and my mm -hmm. birthday is around then. But we live in Chicago where you barely get to experience that. So like I get to yeah. bask in Chicago's amazing summer. That's right. actually my favorite season too. Yeah. I'm born in the spring, but I prefer summer because summertime Chicago is just... Exactly. Y'all already know. It's exactly. Y'all know what's going on. And yeah. it don't get too hot, so it's just and like... I did not get oh, that shit. point. I have to pick from this hat. Now, these questions Ooh. are a little bit... Just a little dip, like a little deeper. One thing you're trying to improve about yourself. There's so many things. But one thing that I would feel like is the most important right now for me, patience. I think I, know, I think I know I need to have a lot more patience just with everything in life. Probably a product of my generation, but I've been wanting everything right now. And you know, some things you just can't get right now. A lot of things you just can't get right now. It's true. What do you think, Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Patience is a virtue. It is. I like this. I like being challenged. Let me shake up this hat. It's came with the trip. Oh my God. People always, when they feel like they're gonna lose, they always try to make it seem like the other person. <laughs> they just clearly cheating. I need to look at for real. <laughs> She's on my <laughs> All of them folded up. <laughs> what is my favorite holiday? Let me see how well you know me. Because this answer is, is literally being curated right now. I'm just going off. I don't know. I, I don't know this one. I'm really thinking because now I'm between two. Okay, I'll just write both because either one, it will be valid. So, I mean, I can do two. You already wrote your answer. You can't change it. Nah, I'm going to just say or. Okay, I guess. All right, you ready? 
Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Damn, I was gonna say Valentine because everybody know Kina love love. I do love love. But, but Valentine, is that really considered a holiday? That's I was, what I was, I was just gonna say, like Valentine's Day is kind of like it's not. I won't say it's a scam because I appreciate getting stuff on Valentine's Day, of course. But I think it's more so something that's become commercialized as opposed to like the actual true meaning behind it. I get that. Who is the female Cupid? Cupida. <laughs> <laughs> You stupid. Okay, damn. Two points for Jeremy. Come on, man. We ain't losing today. Am I a morning person or a night owl? No, you are not. That's a lie. Matt, am I lying? And see, yeah. <laughs> you be up early. I do sometimes, but hey, I I be up late though. So I, I thought you was more of a morning person because you literally a get up early as hell. Yeah, I do be up. I can say that I'm a little bit of both, but you, got you can be up early if you got to. I'll be up early mm -hmm. if I got to type shit. Yeah. You should know that because we be texting at night, hella late. That's why I thought you was going to say night out. Yeah. I mean, but that don't mean you up every night. I don't text That's you every true. night. Me and Keena be having random ass <laughs> deep conversations at night. He just had one. so. <laughs> <laughs> up so that's normal for me i didn't know if that was normal for you i'm always up with the moon i wear a rainbow moonstone on my finger every day i've been light out my whole life though kina is always up at night it's just been that way you post a story or something like 12 you'll see kina be one of the first ones <laughs> Kena might text you like, what you doing up when she see you doing something? What yeah. you doing up? The night belonged to her, for real. Not in the darkest way, though. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it. She okay. Got the black hat. Again. Again. Ooh, what's the question about love? How do you know when you're in love? How do I know when I'm in love? Hmm, that's a good question. I like know, but what's my indicator? Love ain't nothing you can put in words. Something. But no, how do I know for myself? Like, what's the indicator for me? Like, oh, I'm in love or I'm falling in love. Like, damn, I'm in love. It's a certain, like, feeling I get, but I can only describe it as, like, what a blush feels like, you know? But it's not temporary. It's, like, yeah. a deep blush that doesn't go away. It's like a vibration that you you just resonate in. For sure. Yeah. The reason why I say blush, because it's, like, you know how blush, it makes you, like, it makes you feel like this, like, mm -hmm. fluttery? It's yeah. like that. Okay. Like a fluttery feeling. I like that. In relationships, am I more distant or more attached? I don't know, man. It depends on the person, cause I've seen different different mm. strokes for different mm -hmm. folks now. Make I'ma your best her. yes. I'm gonna use her. I'm gonna use Kena while she's in love. Mm. But not in the sense of like. Don't trip. Not necessarily feeling wise, but like action wise. Don't trip. You think you got it? Okay. I think I know what he wrote, but. Uh, Attachment things. Boy, when things going it. good, you Kina is man. They all in each other face. Just know that all in each other face. She can't stop talking mean, about that. That don't person. mean you. Were, that don't mean no. PDA. Oh my god. That don't, <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'll take that only because I feel like we interpreted the question in two different ways. The way he interpreted, he's correct. So I'll give you that one. The way I interpreted that question was more like, how am I as a partner? action wise and i feel like i'm more of a distant partner like i don't have to be in your face all the time i don't have to be around you all the time i like to be around you but i don't have to be and even when i'm around you i don't have to like i can i still want to be like free to move about you know what i'm saying i feel that if we go to party together i'm not gonna be in his face the whole time i'm gonna move around i don't know at new year's yeah <laughs> <laughs> The whole time, oh the whole time, God. but it's cool because like I said, when things are really good, Kena just, she duck off with her partner and it just be that. Yeah. And, but Kena, Kena does like still roaming the room, you know what I'm saying? Making her rounds, talking to her friends, doing what she do. But no, I, this is my first time seeing it. I ain't seen it before. Kena ain't never really came around us with, you know, her dude. But you know what I'm saying? Now that she's involved with somebody else, yeah, they can't get enough of each other when they ain't in each other's face. That's why I said attached. I, see I knew he was gonna say I that see, though, because- I see it I side of her now. It's different. But if you see the way she talk about her exes though, like she was very distant. Yeah, that's actually true. Like, I am different with him. You right about that. Definitely different. Damn, she <laughs> calls me a, a a master manipulator. I didn't say manipulator. That's you were a mastermind. That's what she calls me. Okay, yeah, mastermind. mastermind. Okay. How about you, Mr. Manip? You called yourself that. <laughs> I, say, I did not <laughs> say that. Y'all heard live either. Uh, I did not say that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a master manipulator. Look, sometimes, man, you just gotta gotta be real with people about what you see, man. Sometimes people don't see it in the mirror. It's my middle name. <laughs> 
him. That's that's Matt middle name. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Dirty barnacles. <laughs> Damn it. I don't think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so unconfident. <laughs> Two foot. I knew it started Alan? with an A. I am. Do I look like Alan to y'all? That's my brother middle name. I knew it started with an A. And this is Matt middle name, right, Carl? With a K. Damn. All right, ding again, ding again. When you die, what do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered for always being a genuine person, like a person of integrity. Like I want to be remembered for how I treated people. I want to be remembered for a certain kind of energy. That's real. That's valid. You know, it's down to earth. And it's those intangibles that impact lives more than anything that's material. I want to be remembered for inspiring others. You know, for the most part, people that are like me, I want to make that my life's mission. If you're an amputee, if you're a minority, just being able to inspire. I think that's really big. Am I best described as a dreamer or a realist? Why? You got it? I'm not confident in my answer. Because I feel like what I wrote is true, but the alternative is also true sometimes. It should be a bit of both. All right, one, two, three. Yeah. Realist and big dreamer. Uh, yes! Up? That's exactly what I meant. Like you, you're more of a realist on every day to day things, but you do have big dreams where you do, when you look ahead, you can be a dreamer, but you're not, I wouldn't call you a dreamer because you're more practical. Yeah, I'm like a, a visionary realist. Like you have a big vision, but you have like the groundedness to, I guess the steps to your dream. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on the journey. I'm very, like, I just enjoy the growth and I enjoy being in touch with reality to achieve whatever my dream is. So I, I, I don't focus too much on the dream. The dreams will come. That's why I said, both. I forget we can say both. I should have said that for the morning person and night owl. We can give Keena extra point, sympathy point if we want to. Oh, I don't even want to know. <laughs> you can keep you that point inside. You ain't got to know at the top. You know what I'm saying? You see, master manipulator. <laughs> sure you don't want the point. No. It's cool if I lose fair and square, I will lose with dignity. I have no problem losing because I'm not a sore loser. Remember that. My fa <sighs> He always gets the ones that like he already knows for know. a fact. I, sometimes I don't be knowing simple shit. You know this one. My favorite subject to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> the world know this. Nah, Kena's a good person to talk to. She believes, you know, love trumps all. And there's not a lot of people, you know, especially in this this world that we live in, you know, like it's not a lot of people that buy by that or like that's their first stop when they think of love. I just feel like love is the reason we do everything. If not for love, then for what? It's real. It's not even just romantic love. It's love of a child, love of a parent, love of a friend, love of a pet. I wish the world saw love like Kina did. It is, man. This world would be a beautiful place. Um, but Kina just always playing matchmaker. She just always, anytime, you know, two people are going through anything, like any relationship issues, she always do what she can to make it, you know, help them make it work or whatever it is, it's commendable. Yeah, I'm always rooting for people to choose love. Sometimes people just don't get the chance and that's that's a sad thing. And some yeah. people hold themselves back from it too. Well, yeah, from my recent experience, I realized a lot of people don't have an experience this, so they don't know what it feels like. It's kind of sad, like like you said. Like they say, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved all, but that's, I, I believe that's true because I loved and lost and I'm still okay and I'm mm -hmm. loved again. And you will love again. And I think sometimes people feel like you lose in love. I don't really even believe you can lose in love, but if you heartbroken, whatever, like you can't love again, but you can. It takes maturity and healing, man. Yeah.